Most phones these days have glass on the front and back, and while this might make them look incredible, they sacrifice durability for their good looks. But that certainly can't be said for this phone here, the Cat S31. It's a military spec grade smartphone built from the ground up to take a beating. I'm Nick Gray, the High Tech Traveler, and this is my review of the Cat S31. As soon as you see this device, you'll know that it's not intended for the general consumer. It's not shiny, sleek, or glitzy in any way. It's a device intended for those who work outdoors and need something that can keep up with their rugged lifestyle. To that end, the Cat S31 is water, dust, and drop proof with a scratch resistant screen. It's IP68 certified, waterproof up to 1.2 meters for 35 minutes, mil-spec 810G shock and dust proof, and can withstand drops from up to six feet. As you might expect, I wanted to test these claims out for myself. So I took the phone for a swim in the Gulf of Mexico, dropped it off my truck a handful of times, and also tossed it 15 to 20 yards to see what would happen. I wasn't surprised that the Gorilla Glass 3, which protects the 4.7 inch 720p display, did get a couple scratches after a couple drops, but it didn't crack and the phone's rubberized casing only showed minor signs of wear. As for the design, the Cat S31 is completely wrapped in soft touch rubber, with protruding lines which wrap around the edges and the back of the phone, giving you a secure grip on the device even while wearing gloves. You also get three physical buttons below the display and well-pronounced buttons on the sides which have a nice click action to them. I'm also a fan of the dedicated function key which can be personalized to launch different applications with a long or a short press. And to aid with water resistance, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the micro USB port are secured with rubber flaps. The one design choice that I find a little bit odd is the slight gap between the screen and the edge of the phone which easily collects dust, sand, and pocket lint. The gap is likely there to assist with shock resistance and keep the screen from cracking when dropped from six feet high. But I'm sure with a little bit more thought, they could have come up with a better solution. Having passed the torture test, I moved on to battery endurance. Normally a phone this size would have a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, but cats crammed in a 4,000 milliamp hour cell. Now I've tested out quite a few phones with a battery this size, but this is the first device which actually gives you two full days under regular use with about nine hours of screen on time. The Cat S31 doesn't have a FLIR camera like some of other Cat's models do, but you do get an eight megapixel autofocus camera on the back and a two megapixel selfie camera up front. Now this may sound a little bit harsh, but the camera quality that you get from the front and rear facing camera is worse than I expected. Honestly, you'd do far better if you picked up a mid-range device from 2015 and snapped pictures with that instead. Adding insult to injury, both cameras can only record 720p video. This is extremely disappointing since we've seen sub $200 phones that can record 1080p video for at least two years now. But all that can actually be forgiven since this phone wasn't built to take pictures or play games. It was built for durability. And in that aspect, the Cat S31 has exceeded all of my expectations. If you're looking for a phone that can take a beating and last two days on a single charge, I highly recommend that you take a hard look at this phone. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the Cat S31, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you do. I may have a torture test for this phone in the works, so stay tuned.